Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we will take a look at the artist John Romita Jr. Um, this is an artist spotlight. Um, John Romita Jr., a well-known artist, um, now kind of old, but he is with us since the 90s and even before that. Um, and yeah, let me tell me why I do love him and why some people truly hate him um, and why this is an important um, episode. Well, what do I say about John Romita Jr.? Um, first of all, um, I kind of like his style and I love his style. He has like definitely the Kirby energy but some do hate him because of stuff like this. I love this. Whatever this thing is, um, maybe some people call it um, a blockiness, but he has something that is truly unique. And um, I would say he's one of the greatest storytellers uh, in comics. I guess he started from Frank Miller and um, other contemporaries and he put out a lot of stuff and when he does guns and babes and bullets um, it feels like a movie and that is why he is great. Um, some might critique that his stuff yeah is very blocky that sometimes it looks bad and yeah sometimes it does look bad like if he is totally committed he delivers always great artwork if he's not um, the artwork suffers or maybe also um, his pencils are very loose and that is why sometimes um, stuff doesn't shine but where his stuff shines like where he doesn't shine like is sometimes he just sketches things out and then maybe um it's the it's the job of the inker to fix that and here it's uh, klaus jansen and klaus jansen definitely um made this great cover but sometimes they well, they are very economic in their approach sometimes. And what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. Um, with John Romita Jr., what you get is definitely great storytelling. That means that you know where you are when... And, and it's always a very cinematic look, that I have to say. Like it feels like the movies and movies... Um, comics I mean should feel like the movies but sometimes like it's not every detail on the panel like he, he, he knows that you're just barely reading these pictures so he just puts in the time that you need to read this panel and as you can see he definitely is a master of of guiding your eye and yeah and then from time to time he shows us that he has great craftsmanship like this is um john romita jr and klaus jansen and they're having fun with a thor run and i know it's very blocky for some people or maybe rough but for me this is all you really need because like sometimes people put so much in the panels you cannot read and here the beauty is the clarity of the panel like it's really clear what you're seeing here um, Thor reappears he shows up you have everything you need he's taller than the other human beings and I think um, I think the drawings are beautiful. Like it's not the best I've always seen uh, or I've seen, but it's beautiful enough, and I kind of like it. Like 
it's panels like these that bring me back to um, Kirby um, L. What's his name? Um, Williamson, Sa Walter Simonson. Like they have the certain energy, and this I think is a great thing. And also, like we we get here, here it's the back. We come to the front. Here's this guy, and then he breaks Thor breaks through the wall, and then here like the energy and the storytelling elements. Like it it feels like a movie show or a, or a great TV show. Everything is very clear. Um, I've never lost. I I found myself never lost in a um, John Romita Jr. story. It at sometimes it feels a bit too too blocky. Um, what I mean by this, like you see, this face is really simple, really simple shapes. Um, but then there are also the money shots. Let me see. Like this is, looks really great, really great energy. Yeah. But com compared to, uh, let's say, um, someone else like uh, Joe Maderera, which we will come to him, like jo Joe Maderera always delivered. And um, of course, sometimes he didn't um, draw in all the backgrounds and all of that stuff, but he always gave his best. And John, John Romita sometimes fails to do that. But what he does is he definitely, wait a second, let me get an even light here. He, he always delivers intense storytelling. And in an interview, I saw him that he said he couldn't compete or didn't want to compete with the other um, with other guys drawing stuff so he knew he wanted to to how do we say he wanted to be the master in storytelling and this first page from a spider-man comics where uh, norman osborn recalls his childhood is just amazing like i can feel it it's like a movie like he sees his father and then his father grabs him and sends him into this house um, so he can stay there alone and toughen up. And I guess what he also did was also he delivered a lot of comics. Like he, he, he did a lot of work. He just put out the issues. He's like a workhorse. And um, if you like it or not, he has a certain simplicity and economy and he can also deliver like tons of comics which if he does the quality kind of sucks but then when 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 you need a cool picture like this he delivers like this is a is a very it's simple but it really strikes strikes me as beautiful because it's a beautiful street scene and I enjoy reading his stories and I enjoy some of his faces and the movements of his characters and yeah let's take a look at the daredevil um, a bit of his earlier work maybe um, here he was younger had a bit more energy um, And I mean, this guy has to come up with his panels. He gets a script and then he needs to make it work. And maybe I also like him because like he's a, he's a published um, artist and it doesn't look as complicated at the other, as the other stuff. And um, maybe that's, that's what inspires me. But don't don't think that it's easy because he knows where everything has to go. Like um, it takes time to develop an understanding for anatomy and for the scenes. And this, I guess, he did. Like that—that's maybe the the best point 
I can hit home with him. Everything I read from John Romita Jr. Um, Storytelling-wise, just feels great. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one. Um, this is one of the newer stuff. It's penciled and colored very differently. Um, I do like his old Spider-Man run and maybe his um, Punisher stuff is the best. Like I think if you give him to draw um, guns and other stuff, like he will draw in a very cool style. And yeah, what can I tell you? If you give him just the cutesy story, he, I guess, delivers just the bare minimum sometimes. There's a Planet Hulk story, which was uh, written by Greg Peck. Um, and that one I got and sold it right away after reading because I was so disappointed and yeah, not not the greatest stuff, but some of it I like. Well, I can I cannot say you should like him too, but it's panels like this or just the dialogue scenes that are really great for me. And maybe there are other artists out there, but um, he has such a great body of work and sometimes I truly like what he does. So it's not all perfect, but I wanted to mention him and um, say that some of his stuff really um, really does float my boat so far. 